Hey there, it's Coach Curl here from the Today's Leader podcast. Welcome to Monday Mentoring. The podcast is brought to you by Think and Grow Business, the home of the Think and Grow Business Mastermind. If you're serious about growing your business, get serious and join a mastermind group today. Find out more at thinkandgrowbusiness.com.au. Hey there, it's Coach Curl here and welcome to Monday Mentoring. Hold my beer. The demons of 2020 just keep popping up, don't we? So last week I spoke to you about respecting your energy and doing an energy audit. And a lot of what I spoke about was about we've been through 2020. We understand the environment in which we are now living. And the time for us to get really clear and focused around our own personal strategy for 2021 very important that we do that but who was to understand or know at that particular time what last week was going to throw up maybe i spoke just a bit too soon we know our limitations we know our environment we know our circumstances and all of that was really highlighted and exaggerated in so many ways with the events of what happened last week so whether it was the events in the u.s Uh, the tech giants that are now starting to flex their muscles, the Brisbane lockdown after one case of the new strain of COVID, um, of the coronavirus. It's just proving that the demons of 2020 have infiltrated 2021. And while we may believe that we've learned to work in this environment, it's still going to be a massive challenge ahead. And it's going to take continual shifts in our mindset to make sure that we remain positive and optimistic and full of hope for the future. Because otherwise we get caught up in this energy drain of which I spoke about last week. As a leader, you have to endeavor to find your way through this maze, through this haze, to be effective, to be able to clear your path to your personal clarity. Now tell me, what did you learn from the energy audit last week? Did you find out what are those activities, what are those people, what are the circumstances, what are the environment that drains your energy? Did you find that out? Because for us to really truly maintain the level of peak performance that we really want you to have, it's important to understand where my energy drains are. So what are those things that drain your energy? Because it's vital for you in your quest for peak performance. What are the energy vampires? Who are the energy vampires that you have in your life that drain your energy? Once again, really, really important. You may have been excused for thinking it's more of the same from what happened last week, but only you can change only you can change your approach. Only you can change your approach to what is happening all around you. What happens all around you is so is so far out of your control, all you can control is you. And that's challenging enough. So our thoughts around what happens outside needs to be channeled or is better um, spent channeling inside to get your inner clarity, your inner drive, your inner motivation in and around what's going to happen for you. So get clear, look after your team, stay away from those energy vampires, stay away from those drains, respect your energy, but importantly, take responsibility for it. Hey, I'm Coach Curl. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Monday Mentoring. I will see you all again next week. Bye for now. Thanks for listening to our Monday Mentoring session today. I hope it gives you momentum to reach out for your dreams. If you're looking 
for an extra boost. Check out my online academy for access to over 75 programs to help you build a better mindset, enhance your leadership skills, and boost your business. You can trial it for just $1 for the first month at thecoachcurlacademy.com. Remember, wherever you are, you are standing stronger, braver, and wiser. Have yourself a successful and a productive week. And remember the golden rule, just don't be an arsehole. I'll see you next time.